2013 Jaguar XJ. And while it may look similar to the previous model, it's special because it has a three liter supercharged V6 engine and it has all wheel drive. That's what I'm doing here in the snow in Quebec, trying out the new all wheel drive system on the Jaguar XJ and the XF. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Two days ago, this was complete ice. There was no snow here, just ice on top of the on top of the tarmac. So it's hiding under there somewhere. Okay, quite simply, we have a split surface test. Okay, to the left we have tarmac, to the right we have ice. All I want you to do is park in the centre of the four red cones. Two wheels on the tarmac, two wheels on the ice, and we're going to do uh, a standing start from there, basically. Now the Jaguar flew me out here to give this car a whirl on an icy and cold snow covered track. So let's take it for a ride and see how it does when the road surface gets slippery. We'll do a complete lap now in winter mode. So winter mode will always start in second gear. Okay. And it'll give you a, when it actually starts, it's 70% rear, 30 to the front. Mm -hmm. But that could be for a millisecond because as soon as one will start slipping, it will be active and will work work out um, where it needs to place the grip. There we go. So five Canadian if I hit a cone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am the cone okay. killer. So now I felt like most of the power was going to the real wheel, the rear wheels yes. and then eventually it figured it out and sent it forward. It likes to be, Jacob would like to be known as a more of a rear wheel drive car, rear wheel bias drive car, so than an all wheel drive dynamics, car. Yeah, yeah you've got. You've you're, got pu uh, you're pushing it instead of pulling it. Definitely. All right, here we go. An icy Jaguar burnout. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you pay big money for. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> oh, inside the car, it's uh, not that dramatic. <laughs> Outside it's pretty good. There we go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so a lot of wheel slip there, but it, it still made up the system still pulled it up the hill. It did. There so you can go. feel that. Yep. Plenty of plenty plenty of grip there. No um, no slip and slide that time. Alright, so I know you guys are worried about us getting ourselves hurt and running into a tree. <laughs> But there's a natural um, limiter to that, and that is, I know that I'm with a bunch of journalists in this car, uh -huh. so the second I run this car into the ditch or into a tree, uh, yeah, yeah. it'll be tweeted around the world. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to do anything foolhardy, <laughs> because I, I have a reputation that I want to protect right. as well. How important is all-wheel drive to Jaguar as a company? All-wheel drive is key for Jaguar in terms of the segments that are open to us. Yeah. We're offering something slightly different because what we're saying is you can still have the capability of an all-wheel drive, um, but you've got the, the driving character of a Jaguar that you that you would recognise. So when the car needs to be rear-wheel drive, it can be, but you've got the capability and performance. It seems to me that premium luxury car buyers are now associating all-wheel drive with yeah. a premium vehicle. Is that what you're finding yeah, too? Yeah, it is. I think it's an entry to the segment because what we're finding is it's not just the northern states in the US and Canada. We're actually seeing growth across the whole of the US. So the segments for, for all-wheel drive, in particular um, in the large premium segment, it seems to be an entry into that market for a lot of customers. It's something that they would expect to be on their vehicle. And how about pricing? How much more is it going to be to have an all-wheel drive Jaguar XF or XJ? In the US, yeah. on XF it's $3,000 and on XJ it's $3,500. And when will the cars be available? So we're on set, just about on sale now for okay. XJ and for XF it's February 2013, so not too far away. So you may be asking yourself, how does the Jaguar all-wheel drive system compare to other premium brands like the Audi, Quattro or even the BMW X-Drive? Well, the Jaguar system sends most of the power to the rear wheels, making it feel like a rear wheel drive car, unlike an Audi, which splits the torque 60 back, 40 front. Yeah. 
here is our first new component. So this is a transfer case. This is mounted to the back of our eight-speed automatic transmission, which is here, and obviously on the back of the V6 engine, which will be here. Within the transfer case is a clutch pack, this rotating object here. If the clutches are open, and any drive from the engine through the transmission goes straight to the rear wheels and the car will drive exactly like a two-wheel drive car. No torque goes to the front wheels. As soon as we start to close that clutch pack, when we start to take some of that drive and apply it through this front, different, front drive shaft to the front differential to the wheels. So we can linearly vary that clutch pack between open or closed or anywhere in between. And that's how the system is continuously adapting, moving the torque of the engine between the two wheels. Yes. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Here we go. Finally drifting uh, XJ. <laughs> All right. So just wait until the green cone. Okay, and then give and it some power. Add the green, yeah, turn it a bit left. Accelerate, go on the steering, relax. Oh. Not too hard on the gas. Sorry. Open the steering, and wind the wheel, and accelerate again. All right, my first, my first attempt at drifting was not so good. <laughs> go, on right. the gas. So two hand on the steering. That's help a lot. Count the steer. Yeah. Off the gas, look for grip, okay. then on the oh, gas yeah. again. So you gotta go yes, the Yes, better and better. Go, keep going. Don't turn too much, open the steering. You just need a 180 uh, degree on the left. So I'm going too much, too much steering, yeah. Yes. Okay, let me try again. Front to steer. Yes, excellent. Uh, accelerate, 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 accelerate. Never. Never stop. Never stop. Okay. You need to believe in. <laughs> we can come back in the pits. Thank you. You welcome. That was a lot of fun, and yeah. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't do so well, but <laughs> I didn't hit anything. So thank you. <laughs> so what did we learn today in the snow of the Canadian wilderness? Well, certainly two things. First of all, I suck at drifting. And secondly, and perhaps more importantly, that the Jaguar system does a great job in wintry and icy conditions. It actually feels and drives like a rear-wheel drive car, which is good and fun. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Remember, subscribe for a new video every day. See you next time.